Hello everyone, this is Mr. Nasser and in this lesson we'll study 3D Early Bird. The first exercise here will study frequency adverbs. Put these frequency adverbs on the line then check on uh, check in vocabulary 3.6 page 133. So frequency adverbs hardly ever never always sometimes often and usually for example here from 100 percent to zero percent frequency adverbs uh, how many times you do something okay so put them in order in the correct place and we'll go to page 133 and check Okay, let's go. Okay, here we have always 100%, after that usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never, 0%. For example, if I want to say, um, I go to the gym. So let's write it here. I go to the gym. Okay, so when I say, for example, I go, I always go to the gym. If we say one month, let's say one month, equal how many days? One month is 30 days. Okay, so I go to the gym. I always go to the gym 100% 100 of the days so here I say I go to the gym 30 days in the month okay when I say usually so it's 25 days often maybe 20 days sometimes from 10 to 15 okay and hardly ever maybe two or three times never of course it will be zero days that means I don't go so again one month 30 days um, I always 30 days I go every day usually 25 often 20 sometimes 10 to 15 hardly ever 2 to 3 never 0 okay so this is not exactly but just to understand the meaning don't ask about the meaning what does often mean what does sometimes mean no how many times you do something okay and this is the order and here we say be careful with always this is a but we say oh always always and here use use usually usually and this is t we say often and often both are correct often is correct often is correct and some people say often is british often is american no often and often are british and american both of them british both of them american which one you like use 
sometimes be careful some students say sometime they don't uh, say s yes, sometimes this is different and here hardly ever when you say here say it together hardly ever no hardly ever hardly ever hardly ever so to speak english in a good way professional way always say hardly ever hardly ever hardly ever 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 hardly ever and in british accent we know that we don't say er we say schwa ever never like this okay again always usually often often sometimes hardly ever never okay let's go back uh, to the lesson page now in exercise number two read the questionnaire take your answers so here in the questionnaire we have are you an early bird this is a bird or a night owl this is a an owl so early bird people who uh, sleep early and wake up early owl people who sleep late and wake up late and you can say for example if someone um, asks you to go to a concert with him um, you can ask for example what time uh, what, what time does the concert finish uh, he will say maybe at one or two you can say no I'm sorry I can't go I am an early bird so people understand that you sleep early and wake up early okay maybe your friend wants you to go with him um, to do something in the morning um, then you ask what time he says maybe at eight o'clock in the morning you say i'm sorry i am an, a night owl that means i sleep late and i wake up late I wake up at 12 maybe 11 or 12 but I don't wake up at 8 so you are a night owl so now just to know it's a quiz for fun to know if you are an early bird or a night owl do the questionnaire to find out okay to find out means to know for example I will do it myself here and when I get up in the morning, I am always happy and I have a lot of energy. I am sometimes happy, but I don't have a lot of energy. I am not very happy and I never have a lot of energy. So what's my answer here? Mm -hmm. My answer A. Okay, I am always happy and I have a lot of energy. At the weekend, I sometimes get up before 9 a.m. I always get up before 9 a.m. I hardly ever get up before 9 a.m. For me, B. I always get up before 9 a.m. When I go to a party, I always stay to the end. I sometimes stay to the end. I never stay to the end. For me is B. I sometimes stay to the end when there is a good film on TV uh, late at night I always watch it to the end I usually record it and go to bed I often watch the beginning but I never see the end and for me I always watch it to the end no I usually record it and go to bed but of course this is in the past now you can just stop and watch it on YouTube or on the internet when I see a, when I see friends at the weekend I usually see them in the afternoon I sometimes have coffee with them in the morning 
I hardly ever see them before 9 p.m. I sometimes have coffee with them in the morning. For me is B. 6. When a friend phones me before uh, 8 a.m., I am always happy to talk to him or her. I'm sometimes happy to talk to him or her. I never answer the phone. Yes, for me, A. I am always happy to talk to him or her. Okay, so here we say number one, A, B. Okay, let's write it. Okay. Let's write it here. So one is A, two B, three B. Okay. And four is B, five. 5 is B, 6 is A. Okay, so I will write this in a piece of paper because we will go to uh, another page. Okay. So you do the same, you can stop the video, write your answer, uh, choose your answer, after that write the same like this. After that write it of course in a piece of paper and we will go to another page to check the answer. We will go to page 114. Okay here, look at page 114, what's your score? Are you an early bird or a night owl? So let's go to page 114. Uh, this is the page here and this is 3D. So let's uh, make it bigger like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, let's write the answer here. Okay, my answer was one, let's see, one is A, two, B, three, B, four, sorry here, Four is B, five is B, and six is A. Okay, so let's see here the answer, the score. One, this is one, for example, A, B, and C. So my answer is A, okay, so this is, my answer one two is b so this is my answer three b again here four b five b six a okay so how many points i have one two three four five six seven mm. so i have here seven points yes seven points okay so you do the same count how many points you have got 
after that we'll go down and check so let's go here yes, seven points and let's do this okay so I um, I've got seven points so this is from six to nine I am here you are definitely an early bird definitely means for sure like 100% you probably get up very early and do lots of things before lunch time but you are probably not a good person to go to an uh, all-night party with yes this is true uh, for me here you are not a good person to go to an all-night party with that means if I want to go to a party with you and the party maybe finishes at 3 a.m. no you are not a good person and this is true for me okay so if you are from uh, 10 to 13 you are not a night owl or an early bird so not this not this so you are probably an afternoon person that means you wake uh, you wake up uh, in the afternoon you probably get up early in the week because you go to uh, to work or you go to the university or school so you wake up early and then sleep a lot at the weekend at the weekend you sleep until one two maybe and here we have from 14 to 18 points you are definitely a night owl you are 100 percent a night owl you probably go out a lot in the evening and watch tv late at night but you are probably not a good person to have breakfast with if i want uh, to go out with you and uh, to have breakfast together in the uh, in the morning early in the morning uh, when I call you, I I always uh, find you sleeping. So you sleep in the morning. Okay, so this is like a quiz for fun. Maybe uh, the information here um, is not for you. Uh, they are not, for example, true for you. Okay. So let's go back. Okay, so what we will do now we will listen to Janet and her husband Dominic write J by Janet's answer to the questionnaire so let's put it here track 65 and make this on the screen Okay, so you will listen and uh, take uh, Janet's answer. Okay, from here. Okay, let's listen. Track 65. Dominic, do you think I'm a happy person in the morning? Yes, sometimes. Why do you ask? It's this questionnaire. Are you an early bird or a night owl? I'm sometimes happy in the morning, but I don't have a lot of energy, so that's B. What are the other questions? Here, come and have a look. <sighs> Question two, well, that's easy. I hardly ever get up before nine at the weekend. Yes, that's true. The next question is about parties. Oh, that's easy. When we go to a party, you never stay to the end. Yes, that's true. I always leave early, don't I? <laughs> OK, question four. Yes, I often watch films late at night. But you never see the end. Yes, you're right. <laughs> so that's C. What about question five? When do you see friends at the weekend? Well, I usually see friends in the afternoon. Right. The last question. Ah, this is a good one. Yes, I'm always happy to talk to friends when they phone before 8 in the morning. What? That's not true. I always answer the phone. Yeah, 
Yes, you answer the phone, then I talk to my friends. Hmm. So it's A. Right, what's my score? OK, your score is... Um... OK, guys, so you can listen again and do the exercise. So now let's check the answers. Okay, here's the answer. Okay, one is B, two C, three C, four C, five A, six A. Okay, and you can go now to page 114 again. Okay, here and find her score okay after that you can read about her <laughs> let's go back okay guys so let's move to the next exercise here help with vocabulary word order of frequency adverbs Underline the frequency adverbs often, etc. Here means the others in the questionnaire. Okay, so let's go to the questionnaire here. This is the questionnaire, and we say underline all the frequency adverbs. So, for example, here let's have, for example, I am always, so always is the frequency adverbs sometimes very okay so do the the same for the others okay so the next step choose the correct words in the rules here we say frequency adverbs go before or after the verb be verb to be what is verb to be verb to be here this is verb to be and we know that verb to be means uh, is um, are okay so frequency adverbs go before or after the verb be frequency adverbs go before or after the other other verbs other verbs for example like go come stay okay these are other verbs so let's go now to the questionnaire and see okay so here if you can see let's uh, and uh, color the uh, frequency adverbs okay here we have these are frequency adverbs Okay, sorry, uh, never, okay, here again, sometimes, and always, watch, okay, and usually, always okay so let's see uh, verb to be verb to be let's change the color here and we'll see verb to verb to be m okay and here the same m okay and let's see the other verbs the other verbs hmm get up okay stay and oh here uh, sorry here we have watch watch is the f uh, the verb mm, that was a mistake sorry and let's write it here always okay 
let's go back and make the color c is the verb okay so as you can see here when i write okay um, okay so when i write i say here verb to be of course it will be subject plus plus verb to be be means am is are so here am plus frequency adverbs with frequency adverb f a okay so here we have um let's see it with, with red this is the verb to be and frequency adverb here okay so always frequency adverbs comes after as you can see here they come so number one you write verb to be number two you write frequency adverb number one verb to be number two frequency adverb this is very important and memorize it like this verb to be number one frequency adverb number two one two okay if i want to do it with verb and you can see the others the same with verb mm -hmm. okay let's delete this here okay and write the same i start with subject plus frequency adverb after that the verb the verb and uh, let's have some color here the red uh, blue frequency adverb and the verb so frequency adverb number one verb number two it's the opposite here mm -hmm. okay so number one frequency adverb number two the verb okay this is how we write it okay so again guys here subject verb to be frequency adverb here subject frequency adverb other verbs like watch like always watch usually see okay sometimes get up I here i am always i am sometimes i am always this is the, the grammar okay so let's go back to the um, rule here and let's see what we will choose for example frequency adverbs go before or after the verb to be i am always am always so frequency adverbs go after i am always am always so frequency adverbs go after frequency adverbs go before other verbs i always stay i always watch so before okay so now let's go back to um to go to exercise number five to practice okay so here let's see to practice frequency adverbs okay so here we say put a frequency adverb in these sentences and mark them true for you and make them true for you sorry okay so here let's see i get up at eight in the morning so number one we need to um, find the place for frequency adverb so we know here we say frequency adverb and verb to be go before verb to be uh, sorry after verb to be and frequency adverbs go before other verbs okay so let's see here first of all let's find the um, verbs I get up this is the verb I have 
Okay, here I study, I go, I watch. Okay, and where to be? I am, I am, am. So frequency adverb, as we uh, said before, and go before uh, the verb. So here, as we have here, this is frequency adverb, and this is the verb. Okay. So let's put it, put a dot in the place of the frequency adverb. Here, for example, I have. Okay, so the frequency adverb will be before, so it will be here. And I am after here, and here. I am. It will be here. I here. And I am here and I here. Okay, so now you will write the frequency adverb and you choose um, the one that uh, makes the sentence true for you. For example, I never get up at eight in the morning. I will write here, I will say, for example, for me, I say, I always okay get up at eight in the morning so your answer and my answer your uh, partner answer will be different so the most important thing that you know the place of the frequency adverb okay Okay, now let's move to exercise number six. In exercise number six here, help with grammar, subject and object pronouns. Look at the words in pink and blue in these sentences, which are subject pronoun, which are object pronoun. So I usually see them in the afternoon. I here is the subject, as we can see here. Okay, so Okay, I we uh, We hardly ever see him in the week. So here we have the subject I and we and we have the object Okay, them and him. Okay, so Let's go down again here So subject and object. Subject pronouns, I. Object pronouns, me, you, you, he, she, it, and they. Okay, to check, let's go to uh, grammar 3.5, page 134. Okay, so I, me, you, you, he, him, she, her, it, it, we, us, they, them. But how can I use them? What's the difference between I and me, he and him? This is what we will talk about now. Okay, so now let's go to the board to explain. Um, subject pronoun and object pronoun okay so this is um, a short story about uh, Nasser and two friends so here we say I am Nasser and I have got two friends Sally and Jack Jack is from Ireland and Jack is a doctor Sally is from England and Sally is a teacher Nasser, Sally and Jack always eat out at the weekend 
Sally is Jack's girlfriend and Jack loves Sally very much and Sally and Jack will get married next month I really like Sally and Jack and Sally and Jack always call Nasser in the evening okay so um, now you can see here let's go down we say I am Nasser I Nasser Nasser I Sally Jack 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 Sally Sally Nasser Sally Jack Sally Jack lots of names we repeat the same name again and again and again and this is not professional so that's why we use subject pronoun and object pronoun okay as you can see here these are subject pronoun I you he she it the we object pronoun I me you you he him she her it it they them we us so when do we use subject when do we use object this is the verb everything before the verb is subject pronoun everything after the verb is object pronoun how let's check here for example where's the verb here I have got okay so let's see here I have got so got is the verb mm, okay so got here is the verb okay before the verb we use I we don't use me because it's before the verb okay and we will mark it here okay so before the verb I Sally and Jack okay then Jack is from Ireland here of course because this is the first time we talk about Jack alone so we say Jack Jack is from Ireland and Jack is a doctor no we don't repeat Jack again so where is the verb the verb is is so here Jack is a man we have he or him but here we will we will use he because it's before the verb so we say he he is a doctor now Sally the first time we talk about about Sally alone so we say Sally no problem Sally is from England and yes this is a verb is before the verb she or her she she is a teacher okay Nasser Sally and Jack always eat so this is the verb and before the verb we have here Nasser Sally and Jack so I talk about Nasser I am Nasser Sally and Jack so here we delete all and we write we or us before the verb eat so we write we we always eat out at the weekend Sally is Jack's girlfriend and Jack loves uh, so this is the verb okay so he Jack we can say he uh -huh. because before the verb loves after the verb she or her her loves her and he loves her very much and Sally and Jack two together okay this is the verb before the verb uh -huh. so we have they or them before the verb they they will get married next month I really like Sally and Jack I really like so this is the verb after the verb they or them after so them I really like 
them. I really like them and Sally and Jack always call. So here we have call is the verb before the verb. This is of course, I really like them. Here we have comma. So this is different sentence. And before the verb, they always call Nasser. I am Nasser. So they call I or me after the verb it will be me in the evening so if you can see now i am nasser and i have got two friends sally and jack jack is from ireland and he is a doctor sally is from england and she is a teacher we always eat out at the weekend sally is jack's girlfriend and he loves her very much and they will get married next month. I really like them and they always call me in the evening. So look at this here, okay? And the other one here. Nasser, Sally, 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 Jack, 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 Nasser. Ah, this is not professional. But here, this is a professional one. So, why we use uh, as object subject pronoun or object pronoun so we don't repeat the same name again and again and again okay so again before the verb we use subject pronoun after the verb we use object pronoun it's very easy number one where is the verb number two before the verb subject pronoun after the verb object pronoun okay guys so now let's go to the uh, book. Okay, in the book, there's an exercise here, exercise number seven. Okay, we say, choose the correct words. Okay, you can stop the video, do the exercise, then we will check together. Okay, let's do it here. Lawrence, my sister, and I see. C is the verb. Before the verb, I. After the verb, she or her, her. I see her every Sunday. Ian and I phone Eve a lot. But she or her never phones. Uh, so phones, here is the verb. Phone like call, the same meaning. So before the verb, she, she never phones after the verb, object, us. My name's Zakaria, but my friends always call. Call is the verb, after the verb, object. Okay, Alexander our son and C, we have C is the verb, before the verb, we, after the verb, him, every weekend. Rob and Andy are my cousins, but hardly ever talk, before the verb, I, after the verb, talk to them. Okay, so now let's see um, what the object pronoun refer back to for example here when i say lauren's my sister and i see her i see who lauren i see lauren's every sunday but we don't repeat lauren's again we say i see her Ian and I find Eve a lot, but she, who is she? Eve never phones us. Who is us? I and Ian. My name is Zakaria, but my friends always call me Zach Zach, which is Zakaria. Alexander's our son and we see him. Who is him? Mm, back to... Alexander. Rob and Andy are my cousins, but I hardly ever talk.
talk to them. Who is them? Andy and Rob. So that's why we use subject pronoun and object pronoun again, so we don't repeat the same name again. I hope it's clear. Okay, so let's see what's next. And yeah, this is what uh, the same exercise we did here, here, Lawrence, what refers back. Okay. Yeah, here write two things you always usually sometimes hardly ever do in the morning. For example, always get up early, have coffee, write some sentences. Of course, if you are in the class, we will check this together. Okay, the last exercise here we have, it's about pronunciation, help with pronunciation, how we say th. Th has uh, two different pronunciation, whether like this here, we say, uh huh, yes, from this we say th, th, think. So it's th. And this is, yes, this, the, that. So this is the. Okay? So listen to them. Track 66. F fourth. Thirteenth. Month. Birthday. Think. Thing. Thursday. Teeth. Th. The. This. That. These. Those. They. There. With. Mother. Father. Brother. Okay, so I know that um, some students have problem uh, saying the, okay? So if you have problem, okay, the only thing you do, this is your tongue, huh? tongue, okay? So what you do, you get your tongue out and bite it like this. Then you say the, the, okay? So you need to practice this for like three, four days. Take all the words, write all the words with the, from here and try to practice or practice just the sound like always say the 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 and you say here for example say the this that these those Be because this is very important okay some people they don't know how to say it so it's difficult for them and the other one which is th, the same uh, the same thing you put it out say Th, 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 think. Some of the students they say t, t, think. No, and this is uh, um, this is a big problem because you change the word. You have another word. Okay. So for 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 example, some people say this word here. So some people say number one is three, three, and number two is three, three. So some people say number two, three, and this is big mistake. If you count, you say, for example, one, two, three, four, no. So you change the meaning here. So it's very important to practice th, th and the, the, okay guys?
And here we have some sentences to practice the and the together. Okay, I will uh, play the recording so you can repeat the recording as many as you want until you practice all of them. So what you do, you practice, try to listen many times. Don't repeat, just look at the sentence, listen and repeat in your mind, okay? Like 10 times, 15 times is okay. After that, try to repeat, but with the low voice. For example, you listen and say, who is that over there? Okay, you only listen to yourself, okay? After that, you can um, speak with a loud voice and record yourself in the mobile, take the mobile, record yourself. After that, listen to yourself and read, okay? You will know if there is a problem or not. So listen to it here. Track 67. One. Who's that over there with Matthew's father? Two. It's Kathy's 33rd birthday this Thursday. Three. I think Beth's three brothers are with their mother. Four. That's the sixth or seventh time this month. Five. Thanks for taking those things to Theo's brother. Six. I think those are their father's things. Okay, guys, so as I said, repeat it many times so you can practice these two sounds. Okay, so here uh, we finished 3D and uh, when we finish 3D, of course, you will go and do extra practice 3. Okay, extra practice 3, it will be here on this page. Okay, so here extra practice 3. So when you finish, okay, extra practice, go and check in um, extra practice three answer key. You will find the video on the channel. Okay guys, so um, that's it for uh, this video. I hope everything is clear. Thank you and goodbye.